i35equipment.com. This is a 2013 F750 bucket truck. Luckily, you can look at her for yourself. You can bring your mechanic on for here with you if you like to get a professional opinion. Just give us a call. We'll unlock the gate. Get you on the calendar to set up a showing. The number here is 405 833 6437. This truck runs and drives great. The Altec bucket and arm and hydraulics all work really well. It does have a pinnel hitch on the back in case you need to hook up to anything. If I remember correctly, that's 55 feet of reach. does have air brakes, excellent tread on the front tires especially, automatic push button shifter, Cummins diesel motor, we do send trucks, trailers, and equipment all over the country, so get a ship to you, should be an issue at all. Just found the form on the website, contact or email with your full delivery address, we'll share an address with several local haulers and nationwide broker best rate that comes back to us. We do welcome you to arrange for your own hauling or come pick it up for yourself if you like. Once he gets back, we'll check out all the toolboxes inside the cab and we'll hop up in the basket. Pop the hood and check out the motor. Maybe these tires right here. These are the 11 R 2.5 tires. These have your hazards, LED hazard.
We've got batteries on both sides here underneath these panels. Lock on the front two here. There's another side lock on the back there. So to control the selection, you're gonna do legs is up or down is gonna be for the bucket. We're gonna go ahead and lower the legs on this side. Triggers on this side. Okay, and we're gonna just check our gauges. For it to operate, it has to be within two degrees of back here. We give it a little click and hit to kind of pick it up. That was good. And on this side, it has to be within five. Real good. All right, we'll go ahead and hop up here, check out the bed and the basket controls. Get your hydraulic fluid tank. I was up here checking it out earlier, so I've already got the safety strap unbuckled. It just goes across and hooks on to just give a little safety to your, uh, your lift arm. Here's all the specs for the Alltech. Basket lift, 700 pound max capacity, 55 foot platform height. And then this lever here is going to be controls from the basket or from the side here. It's uh, just going to end on the lower. The seat on the side here, you see your controls rotate upper boom, lower boom. So we're going to uh, unfold the upper boom by hitting this. You know what? I did not change the lever over on the back to change hydraulics from legs or outriggers to the basket. So, let's go back here. The selector is going to go down. We're ready to rock. So, lower controls. We're going to unfold the upper boom. That coming up. We're going to go all the way up with it, then we'll hop off and take a good look at what 55 feet on a windy day looks like. Bring it back down and we'll check out the controls in the basket. Went the wrong way here. Blur boom, we're gonna go up. Again, I'm just using this bottom lever here. We go too high up. We're gonna rotate just a little bit. We go right. I'm going real slow. Not interesting going the whole way around. Just want to show you guys it does rotate right, left. I think I will go ahead and bring it right though, so the control is real easier for me to access here. Great. All right, lower boom. We're gonna go on up with it. that upper boom on up. Looks like we max that out. And go on up, max out the lower boom. And like I said, we'll get off here and take a photo or uh, walk back away from us so you can actually see it here on video what we're looking at. Go. 
cool. Uh, just give you a look. If you didn't know, this unit actually does have a winch. Gives you a little bit of uh, ability, good ability to uh, grab and move something, take it up with you. And we'll show you that. But just a view of this. It's actually the winch cable right here. Uh, but we'll see that when we bring it back down. That is way up there. Super nice. I did leave the hood open so we can take photos of the motor when we get done here. We can go ahead and shut that real quick. It is windy out here today. got some real reach to it all right we're gonna bring it back down pop in the basket show you the controls inside start bringing the lower boom down by pushing this one back that basket is auto leveling while we're doing this from down here. So you don't have to worry about leveling that up. We're gonna bring it back up because you can see we've already touched down on the uh, cradle here bump stop for your basket so Until it touches on this little soft bump. There that is. Great. Alright, go ahead and hit this to upper controls. Climb up here. Hop in the basket. or the arm and everything. Uh, but this is gonna give you a little bit more control with your jib tilt, the winch, the jib extension. I'm sorry, that's all for the crane part here. And here is the crane, like I said, we talk about that. We'll get it once we were up here. Let's see, uh, this is how you control the platform. And then you got tilt up and tilt down with this little lever right here. 
Uh, this is going to kill and start the truck, and this is your safety for turning it on and off. It's a lock. Uh, this is your tool, so if you want to use a hydraulic. platform rotate with this lever here. Alright, uh, let's just check it out real quick. Okay, so I think you have to hit this one down or up. Let me just check real quick. Nope. There. Pulling it up, I think we have to go now. So, nothing happens when you do this until you actually pull the, the controller or the in here with your fingers and pinch it. So you're pulling it back and go up. Okay, so now we're going to move over here to these three levers. Uh, you're going to push it in, push it out for payload in and out of your winch, uh, jib extension. Oh, you know what? It may actually be pinned over there. And then jib tilt. You can change. You see how that changes its angle. Aside from that, what you would do before you're ready to roll out is we're going to, we would, uh, of course, fashion your safety buckle back over, bring the feet back up, turn the PTO off, and uh, you're ready to drive again. You can see all the specs, all the photos, all the info. Schedule a time to come look at our first. 
for yourself. Just give us a shout. Happy to have you out here. Have a great day.